also think that there's a serious point here too, in that this almost seems like a move towards the inevitable American, like USization of all of these teams because you're playing in the US. Brian from Catalonia, champs, 2022 MVP and Sentinels Bench. Para você que quer comprar a Kelly Skin do Valorant ou qualquer outro jogo da sua preferência, ou ter acesso aos melhores gift cards para todas as plataformas, apresento a vocês o Rei dos Coins. Lá você também pode personalizar o valor ideal para o seu gift card de acordo com a sua necessidade e ainda ganhar cashback em cima desse valor. Não perde tempo e acesse o reidoscoins.com.br. Fala galera, tudo bem com vocês? Nessa terça-feira saiu mais um episódio do Play Chat. E durante esse episódio eles comentaram sobre todo o drama que tem rolado na Leviatã com a situação do NZR. E depois desse tema eles debateram o fato dos times estarem cada vez mais americanizados. E eles relacionaram esse assunto com o fato das equipes do Tier 2 do Latam não treinar contra time das franquias. E que isso, na opinião deles, irá enfraquecer cada vez mais os jogadores e as equipes do Latam. Assim as organizações daqui teriam que buscar jogadores na América do Norte enfraquecendo cada vez mais a região, além do fato que os jogadores do NA acabam jogando sempre em casa. E eles debateram esse assunto e chegaram até a fazer algumas sugestões de como solucionar isso. Então já deixa seu like nesse vídeo, confere se está inscrito aqui no canal e vamos lá ver o trecho. Now, Aspas joins Leviathan. Drama. All of a sudden. Oh, where's he, my where's God. he at right now? Oh, Curious. where's he at right now? Huh? Oh. Curious. Yeah. Everywhere Aspas uh, goes, failure follows. We've always said. Guys, it. hold on. You're forgetting one thing. It's not Drama Wednesday, it's Tuesday today. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> We can't talk about dramas. We're not allowed. <laughs> oh, I see. It's okay, only on I, Wednesday. I, I, I do Actual, have another serious sorry, take, though, to, to follow up on this, uh, which is that less than... I, there is there is an angle, right, of the fans being annoyed because Leviathan have lost their identity to some degree. But I also think that there's a serious point here, too, in that this almost seems like a move towards the inevitable American... like, USization of all of these teams. Because you're playing in the US. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, no. sorry guys, just I heard the word America for a second and I was just getting a little excited. God well, bless the stars and stripes. <laughs> but Support the if, you, if the America's region is in the US and is not going to be providing a good uh, atmosphere for other people, so when they, when they move to play in VCT Americas, if those players end up underperforming because they're further away from home, and if the regions that are like in Latam or Brazil can't scrim, the tier 2 regions can't scrim against anybody, and so they're getting worse as well. Are we not just, is this not just the beginning yeah, I, of all of the identities of it being multinational just blending away. In, not in the sense that it's really cool to see these mixed rosters, but in the sense that we're actually just going to go more and more towards having fewer and fewer and fewer Latin and Brazilian players in the league as, it, as people go towards um, the people that are able to thrive in LA. Yes. That concerns me. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a worry. It's, it's part of the problem with the fact that they've, they've done this regional league for the Americas and it's an entire continent that stretches like, what, Fucking five thousand miles wide and, and bottom I mean, down. Two but, continents. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's the entirety of the Americas, right? But um, what's the solution to that? I mean, you run portions of the league in South America, um, so that you force you force like you force the teams to then go over there, and then it's like you know it evens it out in terms of like players playing away from the home country if you're like an American player, and also some experience make gets it, dished out. Make it even teams. for everybody. Put them in some absolute shithole area of the USA where like even Los the Angeles. US players don't want to be. No, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, step one completed, Josh. What's next? Yes. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> that was the end of my idea. So mm. it really hasn't worked very well, has it? <laughs> No, right, but let's, to, to, oh, sorry. I thought we have three splits, we have three regions. Uh, yeah. There we go, simple. Just split it yeah. up. I, the thing is, I, I think the, <laughs> the, the only solution to just avoid the entropy of region slowly dying is just to have three different leagues. I, I feel like in this cor current format, this is kind of inevitable. And it's it's sad because we've seen how good the, the Latin American and Brazilian scenes are. Brazil especially being able to like win a world title at the beginning. Uh, it kind of puts all the weight on the tier two scene to be able to develop talent. And basically means the only way to get out is to go to LA. And even then you're at a disadvantage. I feel like we will continue to see a shift towards more and more NA players because there is just kind of that home field advantage. And the scrims are just going to be better because all the partnership teams are there. I think mm -hmm. it might even be too late to even like revert to that sort of thing as a solution, like to to split up the leagues again because yeah. 
those the regents are already dead. Sorry, like <laughs> they're already dead. You have to kind of incentivize it from the top down now. Um, and that's triple that's down economics, well the American way. It's worked the best, every time. The best, best solution is working on just getting the teams to fly out there for matches mm. in in throughout all of Latam and Brazil. Like just have them uh, just go go there and play. Like in. And, and try and sell some tickets, actually get them involved. Because when the teams have to go over there as well, I mean, they're going to be scrimming in that region. It's going to be bringing up the level of talent for the teams as well. It's 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 not going to be as bad. Where right but, now, I mean, it's think about that. That's still what three months of a year that there are better scrims, and the rest of the year, people are people are still going home basing elsewhere. No, I, I don't feel like that could no, revive it. That that's still better than sure uh, nothing. And also, that just makes it even, right? Because yeah. Yeah, every every region gets three months. There's only what nine months in the, less suppose. than nine months in the VCT seasons. Mas e aí, qual a sua opinião sobre tudo isso? E qual a sua sugestão de solução para contornar esse problema? Deixa aí nos comentários e vamos para a próxima notícia. Recentemente, o Zelzos postou em seu canal do YouTube um vlog do último campeonato disputado pela Sentinels no ano passado, o Africa Valorant League, onde eles foram campeões. E foi um vlog bastante descontraído, onde ele mostra um pouco dos bastidores do time. E um trecho de uma conversa dele com o Pancada tem repercutido bastante na gringa, onde o Pancada fala do título do Champions e atualmente ser banco na Sentinels, saca só? Brian, você não é MVP of Champs. Eu sou. Na verdade? Sim. É isso que você got os wings? Wings? Não. É porque você estava high? Não. Because I'm a Justin Bieber fan. You're a Justin Bieber fan? How'd you look it up? Look it up. I want to see. I want to see Pankata MVP. See, there's nothing. By Spike. The Spike is fake, dude. I had the best rating. You were not the I best. I had the though. best no, rating. Look, in the tournament. No, by the Spike, a bum website, dude. I have a trophy in my house. I have a trophy in my house yeah. too. No. Yeah, you I do. Know. The Send Invitational trophy. <laughs> <laughs> the best rating of the tournament. Brian from Cataluna. Champs 2022 MVP and Sentinels Bench. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I did tell the guys that if we won, I would shave my head, but we can't. What the? It's hard to see, and because it's hard to see where it's placed, you can't shoot an enemy with it, like you can't scan anyone. Pois é, o link pra você assistir o vlog completo vai estar aqui na descrição Mas é isso pessoal, o vídeo vai ficando por aqui Deixa sua opinião sobre tudo isso aí nos comentários Deixa também aquele like e se inscreve aqui no canal pra não perder nada Aquele abraço e até o próximo vídeo